uh, Zen coaching is it's a way to really connect with your heart and live from the heart. Um, it's a coaching method. It basically means asking questions and letting people discover their own answers. It was very much an inner getting in touch with yourself deeply and then bringing that out into into the world, into your family, into your work, into your business. Really a deep inner connection and living that out in the world. That's a short answer. And what is the difference between Zen coaching and traditional coaching? <clears throat> I'm always a little bit hesitant when I get this comparing question, you know, the difference or the same. It's like, it's what the mind likes to do. We want to put everything in a box and this is different and this is the same. So in a way, it's not different. And in another way, it's quite different. But it depends a lot on the person doing it. So instead of comparing like that, I'd like to say that in Zen coaching, we focus very much on the here and now, on the feeling, on the physical body, and on the inner being. That's the Zen part. So it's a gentle sinking in, and it's quite uh, working with the emotions and the body. And it's also a very process-oriented coaching. It's not so working hard towards the goals. It's more going with the flow and letting things emerge. So it's kind of a soft approach, gentle approach, and yet it has an incredible power when we do it like that. And that's the fascinating thing. When we don't push, but more relax inside, we discover a deeper source of power. And that's the fascination I have with uh, this approach. And what are the main principles of Zen coaching? Well, some I mentioned, yeah, the main principles. Maybe the first principle is that the coach is mainly offering a loving presence. It's holding a space of real curiosity of the moment, of a gentle allowance, of acceptance, total acceptance, of of a relaxation. So it's a, the space of the coach is the main principle, which offers an opportunity to allow new things to emerge. Now, if you apply this in your own life, it is accessing this space that we have. Sometimes life can feel pretty tight and struggle and hard. And we forget that we have a lot of space. It's like our attention is like this. So Zen coaching principle is like just relax the tension into the space. And suddenly you see, wow, it's not that tight. I don't have to struggle so much. I can take a breath. I can see. I can notice. So awareness, consciousness, space, relaxing. That's the main principle of Zen coaching. And what are the main benefits of Zen coaching? The main benefits of Zen coaching is a deeper self-connection, which leads to a sense of being more connected with life, being more in ease with life, uh, being more connected with other people, um, greater connection with ease, with strength, with joy, with meaning, with freedom, with love, having these qualities more alive and felt in the body and lived in the world. And um, also the ability to handle strong emotions, like difficult situations. It's not so much about getting rid of difficult emotions, but having more space for them, having more confidence that strong emotions, it's okay. I won't die, I won't drown, I can deal with challenges. So it's also accessing a strength, 
that makes it possible for us to face difficulties and to create what we would like to create and give what we would like to give and resolve conflicts and, and find also the passion for life. What, what do I love to do? A lot of people are focusing their life on what other people expect from them. Yeah? And that creates, creates a lot of stress because I lose myself in trying to figure out what you want. So as I come home more to what I want, I find myself living more from my heart, from my passion, from my dream, and then I get a lot of more strength, more energy. We lose much energy by doing things we actually don't like to do. Yeah? And people also forget they don't know what they like anymore because they've been so busy pleasing other people that no, they no longer know what they want. What is a happiness in Zen coaching? What is happiness in Zen coaching? Well, I don't think happiness is anything in Zen coaching. I think happiness is something in life. You know, one thing, another principle actually in Zen coaching is that we don't give definitions like that. Instead, we give questions. So this is a very good question, you know. So if you're my client, I would ask you, what is happiness for you? So I would help people find their own understanding of happiness and then go live it, you know? So, so if you ask me now, happiness is, is finding out what is fulfilling for you and living like that. Yeah? Now that could be different things for me and for you. So there's not like this is a happy life and this is not a happy life. But it's helping people find their own answers. You know, what is, ha what is happiness for you? Or what it's is online? yeah? It's a freedom. It's a freedom, yeah. And what is freedom for for you? Yeah. Yeah. And we can ask questions like this, and we can gain a lot of insights. Mm -hmm. yeah? Actually, happiness for me is asking questions. Is uh, I love asking questions. There's a lot of joy in exploring and being curious about life and asking questions. And what is your favorite question? What is my favorite question? Oh la la. It changes huh, from day to day. So what is it today? What is love? Yeah? Or how to live love and freedom? I think today this is my favorite question. Yeah. Tomorrow is different. Um, okay, so how we can recognize that Zen coaching is happening? Ooh. <laughs> How can we recognize that Zen coaching is happening? I'm not sure I entirely understand the question, but uh, in a session, you mean, or in life, or in life? Well, Zen coach again is like happiness. You know, Zen coaching isn't happening in life. In a way, Zen coaching isn't anything. You know, life is life. Zen coaching is just a way to ask different questions and listen. You could say. So I would say, how, how do you know that Zen is happening in life? For me, Zen is being really present in life. I think when we sense that life has a, a joy to it, and a meaning to it, and a fulfillment to it, and a realness, like it feels real, I feel that I'm real, then Zen is happening in, in life. I'm present, and it's real, and it's, and it's a sense of I am me, I am myself. And I can meet people. I'm not like a mask or a robot, or I feel like a stranger in the in the world, or you know, or like a machine, or like a, we feel so many things. It's more like yes, I belong in this world, and it's a fascinating place. <coughs> Okay, and in, in the traditional coaching, we focus on uh, achieving goals and uh, the future. And how is it in Zen coaching, in which we talk about being here and now? Yeah, this is a good question. I, I used to live in uh, Asia many years. Vietnam, Cambodia, Pakistan, Philippines. And of course, Zen comes from the as a tradition comes from the East, comes from Buddhism, comes from Japan. 
And it is, as you say, it's about really being in the present moment and finding that mindfulness. And here I am. And they have thousands of years of tradition of that, of meditation, of being here now. And in the West, we have a good tradition of technology, of speed, of getting things done, of making machines, of creating systems and organizations. And, and there's something wonderful and something not so wonderful about both. Huh? For instance, if you look at India, almost a billion people, but 500 million or more are really, really very desperately poor. Huh? However, in the West, people are not starving to death, but they're so stressed and worried and eating antidepressants and uh, dying of heart attacks, you know, and feeling lonely, a lot of people. So something is strange, huh? For me, we can have goals and enjoy creating things, and we can be really here now at the same time. So Zen coaching for me is actually finding that it's like, where do my goals come from? Do I think that my goal will give me the satisfaction when I reach it? Or is it more that I find the satisfaction here now, and then my goal is like an expression of it? You know, It's like a different mindset. My goals are just a manifestation of my happiness. The second time we've done the one-year training in Poland, and now 30 participants are finishing soon. And it's just great to see how they're shining and happy and really found something inside and uh, enthusiastic and want to share it with others. And this is my motivation to see this change in people. It's quite amazing, you know. I, people tell me, yeah, I got a new life and everything changed for me and it's, I connect much more deeply with myself and others. So this motivates me to keep spreading this. So we're starting at a new training in Poland already uh, at the end of May this year. Uh, you can also start uh, later this year. And it's a uh, one year, a little bit more than one year training, um, five modules, and uh, one can try in the beginning just uh, the first module, and then if you like it, you can continue to the whole to the whole train. And also there are other op opportunities. You know, we're at the end of April. We're having, I'm having some introduction workshops here, uh, also at the. Kosminski University, so it's also possible to join those uh, shorter introduction workshops with me or with others, or to try a coaching session. There are many coaches, you know, can try out also. And how long is the training in Poland? It's in total, it's twenty day training, and it's five modules of four days each, and it's a little bit more than one year the whole the whole training. And uh, can one get some Zen coaching? Well, the benefits of Zen coaching and doing the training is one is the personal growth. It's like life just opens up. You, know, you have more opportunities, more ease, access to more strength, more joy. So that's one side. On the other hand, you, if you fulfill the practice, then you become a certified coach. And then you can make it your work, your profession, your income. And it's, for me, as I see it, the most wonderful job to have. You're really supporting people and you're learning and you're also, you know, putting food on your own table. So it's the perfect job. Yeah. And, uh, would you tell me about your own goal name? Yeah, I actually... As a young adult, I started out getting an education in computer science and business administration. But as I was studying that, my heart was like, something is missing, something is missing, you know? And so I kind of followed that. It was like a calling. Somebody was calling inside here. So I, fo I listened to that and I followed that. And that took me to philosophy, many years of philosophy studies. Uh, I had this question, you know, there's something to discover inside. There's something about who you are, something about the meaning of life. There's something 
the deeper meaning, you know, and the deeper purpose. And I needed to to find answers to those questions. At the same time, I enjoy action and doing and adventure. So I ended up working in International Development Corporation for about eight years around the world, mostly in Asia, and trying to contribute to a better world and uh, having adventure and learning. And it was very exciting. And at the same time, it didn't go to the root of this question, which didn't go away. You know, Who am I? What is life? What is the meaning? Uh, what is connection? What is deep connection? What is love? What is freedom? So I had all these questions. And finally, also through difficult life experiences, like some periods of a lot of anger, a lot of depression, a lot of difficult emotions. And so I had all these emotional difficulties and I had also this curiosity. I decided I need to really follow these questions fully. So I decided to uh, go to a Zen monastery, Zen meditation center. I went for a visit and I liked it. I came back for a longer visit and a longer visit. So I spent about nine months in France with the Thich Nhat Hanh. And that really deepened my inner connection and convinced me that this is important, not only for me, but for the world, you know, because I saw we cannot really change the world unless we go deeper inside, each of us. I seen that in the world. We didn't actually succeed so much in this international development work. It was a lot of waste of money and time, actually. So I decided not only for me, but for the world, this is what is needed. And I decided I'm going to dedicate myself to that. And that's about 12 years ago. And since then, it's 100% dedication to finding more who I am and, and uh, sharing that with others. And out of that grew the Zen coaching. And I met a lot of teachers along the way, like Almas, like uh, uh, Rahasya, Mukumu, Candice of Denver, Marshall Rosenberg, Thich Nhat Hanh, I mentioned. There are so many fantastic teachers out there and I was lucky to meet them and everything I took in and I put together and out of this came the Zen coaching training.